Hi, my name is Jessica and this is The Dollhouse. In today's video, I am going to continue to unbox Series 3 of Shadow High. And today's video features Barry Skies and Oliver Ocean. With this new release with Shadow High, it, they combined our classic Rainbow High design with some of the features of the Shadow High dolls as well, like the glitching here. And there's a standard rainbow in the back that we're used to. And the background of this box says rainbow, which is something that we haven't seen in previous packaging. Here are some things that highlight Oliver's character. He's got some basketballs and some spray paint things in the corners of his box. And he has a basketball over here as well. It will go into further detail about his accessories. Oliver is a music focus. And there's nothing on this side here. On the back of his box, you can see Pinky James and Lavender Lint, who we'll be unboxing soon. And here is Oliver Ocean. So here is Barry Skye's packaging. She is a computer animation focus. Here is the back of the box. We've already unboxed Scarlet Rose and Rosie Redwood. And this is who we're gonna be unboxing today. Barry Skye's is a computer animation focus. And her package has some kind of computer glitchy kind of graphics here in the corners. And that speaks to her character in some kind of way. And she has a very electric kind of vibe going on with her outfit, the CD desk, and her skirt. Let's find out some more about Barry Skies. Let's get, see, let's get these dolls out of their package. Before I show you Oliver, I will show you his accessories. He comes with this gorgeous doll stand. This is like the prettiest color I've ever seen. <laughs> He has the shades here that say shadow in the corner. He has a bottle of glitter aid and he has a cell phone. In the past, we've seen these cell phones come with additional cases. This case is already attached and there's no thumb attachment for him to hold this phone. And his other additional accessory is the shadow high ball. Yes. So here is Oliver Ocean out of the box and he has a navy blue skin tone. He has light blue inset eyes with gla glass inset eyes with rooted eyelashes. His lips are gray and his hair is a navy blue, a darker and lighty, lighter shade of navy blue as well. And it's parted into six different areas and he has six braids and they are, have plastic at the top closer towards the root and towards the end and as you can see his hair is really soft there is no product in his hair and I'm really happy about that unfortunately he did not come with a comb but I'm happy he did not come with product in his hair because his hair is so nice he has felt on along his eye his thigh burns and along the nape of his neck one thing that stands out for me I was wondering why he looked different from the other guys he has a bigger head, like his head is a little bit wider than Ash's. He has a navy, navy blue sweatshirt with a hood and it's covered with this jersey that is gray and it has some teal accents around the sleeves and it says shadow 19. Over here there's a little patch and it says anti-sparkle shadow 2023. And there is nothing on the back of this jersey, but it does attach with Velcro. And we can remove that and take a peek of, at this hoodie underneath. So here is his hoodie. Very simple. There are no decals or embroidery attached to this hoodie where I think that is kind of lacking. I think they could have done a little extra to where we could have got some more life out of his outfit. But that's this series, I guess. Going down, here are his jeans. They are denim jeans and they kind of billow out or fan out towards the bottom, kind of like bell bottoms. And I like these pants, and I think they will look really pretty on one of our girl dolls. There's a little metal stud here that's a button, and there's actual loops here if you wanted to add a belt. And there are two pockets in the back with function, I believe. Yes, so you can put his hands in these pockets back here, and this attaches with Velcro. When we go lower, you can see his white gym shoes. And there's not much going on here. They lace up and they have SH on the back. And there's little moons and stars and like kind of embedded in there. But there's nothing really standing out to me about these shoes. 
And the reason why I'm a little disappointed about that is because look at Ash's shoes here compared to these. It makes these look so cheap. I do like that they lace up. So I do like those details when things lace up. But I don't know. His shoes just look kind of clunky. So let me know what you think about Oliver in the comments. His articulation is really well, actually. He is not having any issues with his articulation. His knees move and his ankles move. Like with all the male dolls, I noticed that they do have ankle articulation. Let's move on to Barry. Here is Barry without that reflection. So you can see her, how she looks a little bit clearer before I completely unpackage her. So I have Barry's accessories out of the box. Here is her doll stand. I love this color. Teal is my favorite color. Here is her comb. She has these shades these really cute shades that say shadow she has a clip pad or something here she has her cell phone and that features our rainbow high runway girls here is the back and there is no way to attach this to her there is no additional covers or anything and here is her shadow high laptop and looking at one of these little codes, I think she's a coder. It says coder girl on the screen. So here's her coding. And I like this little rainbow effect on the keyboard. It says coder girl. So here is Barry out of her box, guys. And this doll is so pretty. She is so pretty. I love her makeup. I love her face. I love her tone. And these, this is like one of my favorite colors. Like I love teal. I love aqua. I love turquoise. And that is what she's giving. Her skin is like a very soft mint green. And her hair is aqua with lighter and darker shades. Almost like a whitish blue tone. A very soft blue. And these curls do not have much product in them. Like maybe I got lucky. Like there's not a lot of product in her hair. All of these curls are pulled into a top pony. And there's a string of hair going around that ponytail. And we have this long curl in the front that creates her bang and I got lucky I think her hair is just perfect she has very light blue eyes one thing that I don't like about the makeup is how black it is because it kind of looks a little strange but I it's growing on me the more that I look at her in person and it, there are some teal highlights in her eyeshadow as well her eyes are glass and inset and she has rooted lashes her lips are a very, very soft blue, soft pink, and they almost seem to have a color shift effect. Looking th at them in per person, it seems as if when I put her at certain angles, it appears and disappears and reappears, depending on how I position her. And that's another feature that I like about her. She has very soft pink blush, and these earrings are like teal drop earrings with this chunky piece on there I'm not sure if that's supposed to resemble some kind of electric part or something like that because I'm seeing that as the theme of her outfit but I'm not sure what it is but here they are going down to her outfit she is wearing a black solid tee that attaches with velcro and over that she has this circuit board outfit or this crop top circuit like design and it has like plastic textured straps and it attaches with velcro in the back and this top is so detailed i love this top like this is a very strong highlight for the doll in my opinion and going down to her skirt i was not a huge fan of this skirt as well when i seen promo pics but i really do love it and i love the nostalgia of it this is like those old school cd albums we had like some of you may not know what i'm talking about but we used to have cd albums where we would put them all in these little pockets fold the book up and zip it along the side and that's what they made her skirt out of here you can see her belt is attached with all these wires and mics and they're tight in a knot at her waist and this can be removed in the back as you see there's this little button here where you can detach that and remove her belt this skirt is actually a deep forest green color so i thought that was different going down to her shoes they are really strappy. They have a lot of different textures and colors. And this is what Oliver was missing. I love this chunky heel. There's straps. There's decals. It's a lot going on, but in a good way. They say Eclipse and SH on them. 
these shoes look athletic they look dressy they look classy they look sporty i just love these shoes i did test, test out barry's joints and everything works really well her legs are a little stiff but i am able to bend them but they are a lot stiffer than what i'm used to from our shadow high dolls so here is Barry without that uh, corset top on and you see she's wearing a black crop top that attaches with Velcro in the back and there is no details or anything in this design. And I also missed showing you her bracelet here. She does have a bracelet and it says SH3 for Shadow High 3. She's the, this is the third series of dolls that they released. And I also missed showing you her nails. She has teal, tealish green nails, and they're about medium length from what I've seen in the Shadow High series. We've had really small nails, medium length, and really long nails like um, our maroon girl, Scarlet. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Series 2's Zoe and Series 3's Berry Skies. So in today's video, I unboxed Oliver Ocean and Berry Skies. I will be unboxing Pinky James and Lavender Lynn in the future, so please hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. If you enjoyed my content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do read all of your comments. Please let me know what you think and leave suggestions and let me know what you want to see in the future. My name is Jessica. This is The Dollhouse, and I'll see you next time. Peace.